Hello and welcome back to another episode with Soul MCA. If today's your first time watching, give it a listen. If you like it, give me a like. If you really like it, subscribe and join our growing base community. I want to talk today about a subject, but I want to first say that my intent today is not for this video to be educational per se. It is going to absolutely be educational for some of you. You have a lot of beginners on this channel, a lot of beginners to intermediates on this channel and uh, you certainly will learn something from the things that I say, but really my intention today is to open up the dialogue on this particular question. I'm actually curious about some others of you out there and what, what is going on in your head. So the question we're addressing is, what is uh, what does a bass player think about? What's going through a bass player's head while playing? And what cued this video or the desire for this video I read all of the comments that you all leave me, unless uh, it's it's considered spam by YouTube uh, and YouTube automatically removes it. So there was a time where I was asking you all for tutorials and I said, send me the links of the tutorials to the songs you wanna hear. I didn't get a lot of your comments because YouTube considered it spam, never saw the comments. Then there are other times where um, if you write something that may be possibly spam, they'll put it in a spam box, box where I can review it. As long as it didn't fall into one of those two, I likely have read your comments. That being said, uh, Jamar, I have it on my to be reviewed list. I have not reviewed it yet, okay? Uh, and if you heard me, comment under this, okay. And that will test me and, and let me know what I need to know about that tutorial, okay? So I get a lot of comments on this, this channel about giving the letters. Why don't you give the letters? The note names is what I should say. You play D tune, that's so confusing. Why don't you play regular tunes so it's easier for the new people? And I really pride myself on being able to teach. Uh, and the reason I think that I've been so successful as a teacher is because I teach a lot. And when you teach a lot, you're around beginners. And I always want to continue to be around beginners so that I'm never so far removed from being a beginner that I struggle to teach. But I'm, I'm gonna be honest here, I was struggling with some of this and understanding some of these comments, like, well, I don't, I don't understand. And then I thought about it, you know, it's, it's a difference in thinking, what's, what is important to you um, based on where your level is. And I wanna talk a little bit about how things change as you begin to uh, get a little better and your attention starts to move from some things to the other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in some examples here uh, and we're gonna talk about a number of things here but but one uh, what is someone like this person thinking about versus someone like this and what they're thinking about. And if you have not yet watched those videos, I will or that video where these examples are coming from, I'll place it right there. And you can go and check that out at your own time. So uh, the first is obviously an individual who is beginning, a beginning player. And um, the focus there is just on what, what note do I need to get to? You know, when you're at that level, you're, you're not worried about how long to hold the note. You're not worried about uh, subdividing the note. You're not worrying about um, ghost notes or articulations. You just wanna find the right note hit the right note, something close to resembling time, and you're good. And that's cool, there's nothing wrong with that. We all had to start somewhere, that's great. Eventually, you will move on. Now, the context I wanna talk about today is not the songs that your praise team has already rehearsed 16 times uh, before Sunday comes and you know what, it, what you're gonna sing. I'm talking about situations where someone randomly, whether it's testimony or um, 
somebody's just flowing in worship songs and goes to a song that's not on the list, or uh, maybe your pastor uh, is about to preach and just breaks out in a song. Um, those are the things that makes me make musicians sweat. You know, they can be very uh, difficult times if you're not prepared for them. Uh, because you just don't know what anyone is going to sing and you know as a musician you got about five seconds to, to find the right thing and start playing correctly or everyone's going to be looking at you like you don't know how to play <laughs> so um when those situations are, are happening that's kind of where i want to have this conversation not not stuff you've already practiced and you know what's going to happen next and you know what the notes are i'm not talking about that brand new uh not even necessarily brand new song a song just being raised out of the blue what do you think about so for me a lot of times when that happens um, I'll just try to find the key. The first thing I'm trying to do is find the key uh, or the note that's happening at that second when I'm trying to find it. And then I'm thinking about in my head, what is this relative to? Does this sound like home or is this um, one of the notes in the progression? Okay, that's the first thing I'm thinking about. And when someone else turns next to me, when someone near me turns to me and I sound like I got it and they're like, oh, what key are you in? I'm going to be honest, 95% of the time I'm like, uh, hold on. And I got to look down and think like, OK, where, where am I? Because I don't think about note names. Um, it's part of why I teach the way I do, too. Um, I do know what the note names are, uh, although I struggle sometimes because I play detuned, but I teach in standard tuning and it, it really messes up my brain. And that might be why I don't focus on note names so much, um, because I likely say the wrong thing. Um, in a given situation because I, I've got to think, am I on a detuned bass first or am I in standard tuning? And then where am I on the fretboard? So um, I'm not thinking about that. I'm really not thinking about that. And so it, it will take me a minute. Uh, what I am thinking about is, OK, what's the progression that's going on here? What is trying to be conveyed in this song? Um, what is the the setting, right? Uh, is this something that I have to really be busier on or is this like someone else singing a lead and I'm just supporting them? Uh, th those are some of the first initial thoughts that come in my head. Like, OK, so I don't I don't need to go for blood necessarily on this song. Uh, and I will say my thoughts for s slower songs are different than faster songs when they're just somebody just starts singing out of the blue. Uh, for slower songs, I'm immediately thinking as soon as the song starts, where do I want to pace myself in the song? You know, um, I, I want to paint a pinch a picture of this song from start to finish. Uh, how long will I hold my whole notes for? Will I switch to eighth notes at some point? Uh, will I will I um, use ghost notes? Will I use um, muting technique? Will I go to sixteenth note builds? When will I smack on the overdrive to really push the song over the top? Should I add chords here? Should I do the um, the voice impersonation? These are all things that are going through my head uh, as I'm playing or, or attempting to catch on to a song that's going on that's a slower song and I think about those things and then I'm thinking about how to fill in in between how to be colorful uh, how to move but not to be too distracted and on faster songs I'm, I'm thinking uh, particularly if it's a song not that I've heard for the first time but maybe I know I'm thinking what initially is the drummer doing you know, how can I lock into what he or she is doing on the drums uh, to really make this tight? And then I'll hear the keys and the other things at the top secondarily and say, OK, what notes are they using to color things? How are they approaching it? Um, but first, I always want to make it feel good. And so my thought is always to go to the drummer first and, and try to make something match there. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm curious about what you are thinking about, what's going through your head when someone just starts playing a song, I really want to know. I don't care if you've been playing one day. I don't care if you, you're you're planning on playing five years from now. I don't care if you've been playing for 15 years, because honestly, different people think about different things and your stage where you are in your advancement of musician, whether you're a beginner, beginner, intermediate, intermediate, uh, intermediate, advanced, advanced, whatever. Um, you will think about different things. And I will say this, when I'm working on something, actively working on something. So let's say let's say for the last two weeks I've been working on slap and I haven't been. That would be in my head. And if I'm trying to get that into my playing while I'm thinking, I'm going to be thinking, how can I get a slap in here? How can I get a pop? How can I, you know, do that? And that is probably going to consume my thoughts. Other than that, a lot of times I'm just thinking about what other people are doing. Uh, how can I fill in with the band? I try never to get too much in my own head. Uh, and sometimes we can enjoy our own cooking. You know, our, we're, we're playing over here on the bass and we're having a good time and we're not listening to other things. And so I try to 
um, establish whatever I need to establish quickly so I can get out of my head. All right, now I know what I wanna play. Uh, I like what it sounds like. And, and this happens over a period of times, right? We, we might go through the song the first time, maybe we're into the chorus the second time, and things are still changing for me. I'm still tweaking things. Um, but by the third or fourth time, I wanna be listening to everyone else to see if I need to tweak what I'm doing to what they're doing. And the faster you can move away from what you're actually doing, which is what you do more in the beginner stages, to what could I be doing or how could I be coloring this in more is the better off you'll be because at that point you're making music. You know, um, the, the better you get at your practice and, and where you get things under your belt, you may not have to think, okay, um, I can do a triad here. Okay, I can do an arpeggio here. What is the fingering for the arpeggio? What is the fingering for this scale I'm gonna use? That's very robotic and you wanna get away from that. You, that stuff you want to become secondary and that's why we practice. That's why uh, you take your time and you go through that stuff in your woodshed um, so that when it's time for the music, you can just pull those things in. You wanna just be thinking about what you want your bass line to sound like, um, what, how you wanna sound in contrast to the other musicians and to the singer and not so much what do I need to do. And, and that's where the, but we can't tell you're on a detuned bass. That, that's where that thinking comes in because you're understandably at a beginner stage and that's fine. You want to move from that to, okay, I know this already. I know that this is a one, six, five, four, or whatever the case is. Um, and this is what I can do with it from all these times I've practiced uh, on my own outside of this situation. And now you pull it in. You wonder how people can just get on a stage and someone raises a song, maybe for the first time they've never heard. And within seconds, they seem like they're playing like they know the song. They've taken previous um, situations where they've played progressions like that. Uh, in their own time, in their own personal time at home, uh, hours maybe even, and they're just pulling in that like, okay, I've been in a situation similar to this. I've played something similar to this before. Here are the things that I can employ over this song. And that's where you want to get yourself to. So now you kind of have an idea of what I think about uh, and what can be helpful and, and where you can kind of move your brain to. Uh, and now you can kind of get an idea as to how some of these players that you do enjoy, who are far beyond yourself, far beyond me for sure, uh, what they're thinking about. A lot of them aren't always thinking about the music. Some of them are just like in a zone and they're just playing to play. All right, I'm Solem Sien. I hope you all have a great day. Take it easy and I'll see you next time.